हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू पी एच पी गुरुकुल प्रोग्रामिंग ब्लॉग माय नेम इज़ अनुज कुमार इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट फाइल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ कोड इग्नेटर इन दी प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट व्हाट इज़ कोड इग्नेटर व्हाट आर द फीचर्स ऑफ कोड इग्नेटर एंड हाउ टू इंस्टॉल कोड इग्नेटर सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल एक्सप्लेन द फाइल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द कोड इग्नेटर हेयर यू कैन सी दी एंटायर फाइल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द कोड इग्नेटर हेयर आर थ्री मैन फोल्डर्स एप्लीकेशन सिस्टम यूजर गाइड एंड देर आर आल्सो टू फाइल्स इंडेक्स डॉट पी एच पी लाइसेंस डॉक् डॉट टेक्स्ट लाइसेंस डॉट टेक्सट कंटेन द लाइसेंस ऑफ द कोडिग्नेटर इंडेक्स डॉट पी एच पी इज द डिफॉल्ट फाइल ऑफ द कोडिग्नेटर हेयर यू कैन सी द कंटेंट ऑफ द इंडेक्स डॉट पी एच पी एंड वी विल लर्न अबाउट दिस फाइल लेटर यूजर गाइड द यूजर गाइड फोल्डर कंटेंट द entire user guide of the ci you can see or view the local copy of the user guide here you can type user guide click enter here you can see the entire user guide of the ci now system folder system folder contain the core functionality of the ci here core files of the ci placed here database files and database drivers placed here fonts files here here helper language here is the predefined libraries placed here these are all the core functionality or core functionality folders of the ci placed in system folder now application folder application folder is the main important folder of the ci this folder contain the application files we are rebuilding these folder contain your model view and controller and also content other code too like helpers and uh, core files config files and class extensions cache cache folder cache folder contain all cache cached page of our application config folder config folder contain the configuration file of our application database file auto load files in auto load files we can place if package or a library if we want to auto load here placed some package uh, auto load package auto load libraries auto load auto load drivers if you want to want a driver that should be auto load we can define here configuration file here we can define our conf uh, our application configuration base url here you can put our base url like www.phpgurukul.com or if you want to put your domain name www.yourdomainname.com whatever you want to put you can put here database file this is the main important file of the application here you can describe our database configuration host name here you you can define database username here password here and data name database name here controllers control folder will contain the class files developed for our applications core file core folder core folder contain the base files of our application helpers helper contain our application include files all include files placed here hooks hooks are used to modify the core functionality of the framework without modifying the core files so all <coughs> hooked code placed here language language contain the language folder contain contain the language micros and language constants libraries in this folder we can place our own developed libraries logs in this folder we can place our error log access log and other logs too models in this folder we can place our uh, fetching database fetching logics third party if we are using any third party plugins so the third party plugins placed here view here our all entire html code placed here here this is the all about dci file structure 
if you have any query regarding this tutorial leave a comment in comment section if you like this video please subscribe to our channel thank you we will meet in next tutorial